now we hello friends now today my goal is to orient you to the pattern that us mle exam follows and i have chosen a case based discussion and we'll be doing more such series in the future as well so to orient you how to approach a case of a U, uh, in a like the pattern that they use in us mle where you have a integrated kind of approach to highlight my point i will show you a question first and we'll try to approach the question one by one so this is the question in front of you the question says a 60 year old male presents to you with pain in the hip the serum alkaline phosphatase level is elevated which of and the x rays provided to you which of the following cells are responsible for this condition fibroblast osteoclasts neutrophils osteoblasts so this is a very typical example of a us mle step 1 question where they have put everything together there is some clinical details in front of you there is some uh, uh, biochemical or lab laboratory parameters given to you and they are sh they've shown you a radiograph okay but however the question is asking you about the cell of origin or cell responsible for this disease so in one question they would want to test you totally that is a very typical pattern that they use in usmle exams so how to approach such a question as i am a radiologist i will show you both the approaches now instead of looking at the clinical details i will try to go about by first looking only at the x ray and that is one of the advantages that you have if you have if you are good in radiology or if you are good in image interpretation you may actually gain a lot of input only from the image while the other people will be trying to solve it through the history now you can see on the right side in the pelvis you can see the ischium appears enlarged there is coarse trabeculation coarse trabeculation and there is thickening of the iliopectineal line and when uh, how to you know know this is thickening on the right side compare it with the left side on the left side look at the how the homogeneously normal bone appears and how the iliopectineal line appears so you can see there is thickening of the iliopectineal line on the right side with coarse trabecular network and uh, trabecular framework and with slight enlargement of the bone this is very typically called as the brim sign brim sign which is very typical of the disease called as pigeus disease so so far so good so but what how to you know approach this such a question if i was a undergraduate i would approach how would i approach this question so we know this is a fairly common disease in a aging bone it is often seen after the age of 55 slightly predominant in men often asymptomatic but the patient may come with pain if there is overgrowth of the affected bone the pain could be primarily because of the pegetic lesion or it could be because of secondary osteoarthritis fracture nerve impingement or really tumor as well and when you talk about the laboratory findings the lab findings have to reflect the increased bone tone turnover in such a patient and that is the elevated level of serum alkaline phosphatase and bone specific alkaline phosphatase as well but please remember serum calcium and phosphorus level are usually normal in most of these patient so what is actually happening here is it is a primarily a disorder of the osteoclast leading to accelerated bone turnover and that leading to abnormal bony remodeling people have variously proposed genetic environmental causes or some people have even proposed viral etiology we are not sure what is happening in the part of pathogenesis but however if we look at the slide of such a patient you will see abnormally abnormal number of abnormally large osteoclasts often showing a multinucleated appearance as has been shown in this slide by marked by the arrow a multinucleated abnormal bizarre osteoclasts so which bones are, are we supposed to look at we look supposed to look at the skull thoracolumbar spine pelvis and long bones a point that every undergraduate should know is that there is a rare complication in this patient where osteosarcoma is possible rare but a very important complication we should know osteosarcoma is possible in a long standing such disease but the examiner may instead of putting up a pelvic x ray next time they may put up a skull x ray in initial phases when you have a lytic stage pages disease usually shows a osteolytic lesion which is in the bone which is called as the osteoporosis circumscripta then you have a mixed phase where you have lytic and blastic both kind of responses and the skull if you look at the skull in front of you the cranial vault appears thickened and you see multiple uh, sclerotic these are called as cotton wool spots in the skull so very typical of pages disease 
and later on the skull may become elongated and deformed which is called as the Tam O'Shanter skull which is a Scottish cap. They may even you know instead of putting up a skull x-ray they may put up a vertebral x-ray and you can see in front of you the vertebra is enlarged and there is sclerosis of the vertebral margins. This is classically called as the picture frame vertebra. What if we do a bone scan? If you do a technetium 99 MDP bone scan or scintigraphy you will see increased uptake of the isotope like you see intense increase uptake on the right sided pelvis in this uh, scintigraphy and, uh, and scintigraphy is often thought to be more sensitive in the early phases of disease even more sensitive than an x-ray to diagnose such a disease now we come back to the question again the idea was to learn something and then approach the question 60 year old so we we learned in the discussion the patient has to be more than 55 usually slight male predominance and look at how the uh, in the question we have put the male as the question clue and we say pain in the hip the patient can be asymptomatic but he can also come with pain we, we discussed all this and then we come to the key laboratory finding which says alkaline phosphatase is elevated and we show you a x-ray which is showing you so we have increased bone turnover by alkaline phosphatase is telling us and you can see the x-ray finding showing coarse trabecular network iliopectineal line is thickened and we know Pages disease but if even if you know Pages disease you will not get a good score in your exam till the time you know what cell is responsible for the disease and we have discussed in detail it is primarily a disorder starting with the osteoclasts so the answer would be osteoclasts now I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, our attempt to uh, start case based discussions targeting at USMLE step 1 and I am very proud to say today DAMS is the only institute offering classroom program for step 1 USMLE we are having it in Delhi and through our satellite centers all over India and we are you know uh, very focused on providing hand holding to the USMLE students in the similar manner like we do for our PG entrance students you can follow us up on USMLE edge page on Facebook I have given you the URL so that we c you can follow uh, uh, you know see more such educational videos in future and you can see more educational video on our YouTube channel Dams Daily please subscribe to that channel for more such updates thank you very much I wish you all the best